Hey there, it's Jamie again, second shift manager here at Muppet Labs. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do, we've done our initial measurement configuration. We've configured three different spectrum engines right here. Um, but you notice that with the names, it says the name of our measurement, the, then the input device, um, the channel and the input device. We can actually adjust those names so that we can actually put in friendly names. Uh, when we do our configurations. So if we want to address the information about our individual devices, we can do that from options. Oh, I need to get out of this, this window. I can go options, audio device options. And this is where we will see the options dealing with our IO devices. Now when Smart, when smart starts up, it flashes uh, the flash screen, the splash screen there, um, and it sits there kind of with a spinning ball. What it's doing is it's going around and poking all the drivers you have loaded for audio devices and seeing if those devices are there. So if you want to talk to a device, you have to remember to have been plugged in when you started up smart. Um, and here you can see the different devices that came up um, that smart uh, can currently see, that your operating system can currently see. Now, if you had previously used a device that isn't connected when you start up now, that device will also come up in the list, but it will say status NC not connected. Um, so here we can see the, the different devices that are connected to smart. Um, the built-in input, the built-in microphone, the USB pre, and then of course generator. We can look at our generator directly as, as a source. Now, the, were any of these devices, let's go with the USB pre, I could call up the information about that USB pre. I'll go back. I'll go back and you can highlight a device, hit settings, and it'll pull up the device settings menu. And you can see the device name as the operating system knows it. And then you can see the friendly name. And we're just going to call it um, my USB pre. That's a nice friendly name. I enter, I put in the, I type in the name, I hit enter so that Smart will enter that information. Here's a friendly name. So I'm going to call the first channel, I'm going to call him left, 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 enter. And the second channel, I'm going to come up and call him right. Very fabulous names I've gotten here. Now, there are some other things in here that have to do with uh, SPL setting calibration for microphones. If you happen to have a calibration curve or a measurement of your microphone, this is where these will be addressed. We're not going to touch those right now, so I'm just going to hit apply, OK. We go back to the device, and now we can see friendly name, my USB pre, um, and now I'll hit apply. I'll go back over now to the options uh, measurement configuration where we set up our measurements and you notice that these names have been carried over now. The channel name is left and right and the device name is my USB pre, B pre. And in fact, if you look at the individual measurement tabs in the measurement configuration, right here, you'll see input settings down here. You will see the device name, the, the channel name, and if you actually want to adjust those, you can also get to the device configuration from this button right here, configure device. It jumps you back over to that window. That's our, that's our input device configuration. Talk to you later.